Hey guys, what's going on? I just want to take a quick look at Ripple. Ticker for this is XRP, and I'm currently on the weekly time frame. Now, I've done probably about five uh, videos on XRP uh, previously, so I already have these lines marked out, and I've already kind of went over um, why I've basically uh, decided these levels are significant. But if this is your first time watching, I'll just give you a quick rundown, okay? If you're going to trade XRP, these are the levels that I recommend that you draw on your chart. Okay, this first horizontal line, basically just find the... Um, the bottom part of these two candles, click the line right there. Okay, because this is going to be um, significant resistance on the way up. And as you can already see that it was resistance here and right here, this is exactly where the price came to on a recent pump and wicked off of it, right? So mark that level on your chart for sure. Okay, the next level I would recommend that you draw on is uh, right here. So just, just find the top of these two candle bodies, again, the weekly time frame, and just paste our horizontal line right there. Okay, so you see this level was resistance here. It was support right here. And uh, it was... You know, this is why I thought <clears throat> I made a video um, on the retrace and I said, it looks like uh, XRP could be turning around here. And it was because we were at the support and we had just formed this uh, this kind of doji, which is oftentimes a reversal candle. But as you can see, uh, yeah, Bitcoin sold off and the rest of the market followed. Okay, uh, the other level that I recommend that you draw would be right here to identify it. Just mark the top of these two candle bodies right like this in this area here. Basically, just take the horizontal line and paste it at the top of these two candles. Um, this is a long-term level of resistance. So you can see it was resistance here, here, here. And now that we've come back down to it, I anticipate, well, what I want to see is this uh, weekly candle close with the body above this level. Okay. Next, I would recommend that you take a, uh, a trend line, just a regular trend line, and just draw it from the... Um, the lower part of this wick and connect the uh, bottoms here, right? So this is an upsloping level of support. And this is also going to come come into play right now. And the other level that I suggest that you draw, take a regular trend line and just draw it over um, over the peak of these two uh, cluster here. And you'll see it was resistance in these two instances. And then as the price came down, it was the support, right? And, you know, I had, you can, you can look back at my, at my previous videos, you'll see that this is the, these are the levels that I had drawn out and look where this dump came to. Okay. Look how accurate this was. <laughs> it's, it's right here. Exactly. Right. So, um, you know, I was, I was thinking that this level right here, this 52, around 52 cents, 53 cents, like basically, you know, this horizontal support line and this upsloping level of support would be, uh, kind of like the low in this, in this upswing. But no, I mean, we had a, a much bigger dump than expected. We came all the way back down here. So, I mean, I wouldn't expect this level to break. And, you know, oftentimes you got to look where the candle body closes. So, you know, you had a big dump, but look, look at all the buyers that stepped in at this exact level. Okay. So, I mean, if you, if you had marked up your chart the way I, I uh, recommended in the previous videos and you just put like a limit order down here, you'd be in a pretty nice profit right now, just off the bounce. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, if you're not subscribed and you want to get updated when I release these uh, videos so you can stay on top of things, I, I, I do about two or three uh, TA videos every single day. Just click subscribe, but when you click subscribe, if you don't click the bell and I click on all, you won't actually be notified when I release these videos, right? And, you know, sometimes I see something in a chart and I want to get it out quick. So I'll either do a video or I'll post it on uh, Twitter, which is now called X. So I'll also put a link to my um, my Twitter X profile in the pinned comment in the description as well. Um, just, you know, just oftentimes I'll see a move and I just want to get it out to you guys. Okay, um, another thing that's worth noting here, uh, I, what I'm seeing right now is just take a, um, a trend line. And you can run it from the top here and just connect the tops here, bang. So what you can see here is it gives us even more confluence in this zone, okay? So we have this trend line, one, two, three, four touches on this trend line. And for the longest time, I mean, for several years, a couple years, this level was the resistance. Recently on this big push up, we broke out of it. And as you know, if you watch this channel on just basic TA, once you break a long standing level of resistance, more often than not, it's going to act as like a magnet and the price is going to come down to retest it as a support level. Well, look what's happening right now. We came all the way back up. We broke all these significant levels of resistance. The price has just come back down. And in this swing down, we've retested them all, right? So we've retested this former level of resistance, this one. Um, this one I thought was going to hold, but no, we came down and now basically we're retesting this down sloping level of resistance, this multi-year, um, downtrend, right? So you see, this is actually very good, uh, price action. A lot of buyers came in to defend this level. And again, I want to see, okay, the most important thing <clears throat> is that this candle body, which closes tomorrow evening, uh, closes, if, if it closes where it is right now, it's okay. Um, because we're we're going to be uh, above this level of support and we're going to be above this former level of resistance, okay? So this would be the uh, resistance to support flip that we need for this long-standing uh, trend line. 
Um, ideally, I would like to see this candle close above here uh, tomorrow evening. And there's a pretty good chance of that happening, and I'll show you why. So Bitcoin, obviously Bitcoin's leading the market right now. And I have to say, this XRP chart looks much better than the Bitcoin chart right now, okay? So on the XRP, we've recently broken out and retested a long-term downtrend, whereas on Bitcoin, we've broken down um, from this rising wedge, uh, which is pretty bearish. And oftentimes what I like to do when I analyze a chart, because I, I tend to have a bullish bias, is I'll invert the chart. So you see right here, if I invert this, and if I was trading this from the perspective of I'm looking for a long, well, I mean, we had a rising wedge breakdown, then we would, ha we would have a falling wedge breakout. And I would be targeting, if I saw this uh, on a chart that I wanted to long, I would look, I would look to this level, right, as, as a potential target. You see, uh, this, former, this former level of resistance coincides with this former level of support. And yeah, I would be looking at this level to hit, which is around 24,600 or so. And I would even expect maybe the um, market makers are going to push it a little bit beyond that as a fake out to just, you know, grab up some liquidity there before pushing back to the uh, downside on the inverted chart. And obviously that would be to the upside on the regular chart, right? So as you can see, Bitcoin doesn't look that good. But if I go to the smaller time frame on Bitcoin, um, I put out a video last night and I basically said that uh, we have this down sloping level of resistance and look for a break of this before even considering uh, a long, right? So I think I put it out around here and I said, you know, you can, a potential trade opportunity would be you can enter a short and then you can place just a stop loss above here. So if you did that, you would have you got some nice uh, profits to the downside here. But now that we broke out, it's almost like a, a change of the trend on a short uh, time frame. This one hour, we were putting in uh, bullish divergences. So this, I, I would anticipate that this, maybe we have a, a short-term pullback on the, um, on, on the Bitcoin chart, um, which could probably coincide with um, basically helping our weekly candle close on, on Ripple above the levels that we want, right? Now, ultimately, I do think we probably are going down <clears throat> to the region that I just pointed out, the 24 or 7 or so, maybe a little bit below that, just so they can uh, <clears throat> grab the liquidity. And the reason why I think this is how the market makers are going to play it is because if I look at the liquidation levels, this uh, liquidation map, you see there's so many more uh, shorts than there are longs. And this will show me, you see, you see these um, basically big uh, orange spikes? This will show me like the leverage that people have, right? So, you know, these are all people that are using 100x leverage on Binance. And obviously when they're using 100x leverage, their liquidation point is is very near to the price, right? So this is the current price. Um Actually, no, the, actually, the price is probably even closer there. So the price is coming up. So all these shorters are probably getting nervous. It would make sense for the um, the market makers to just have a, have a spike up, take all these uh, shorts out, and then move it back down to pick up the liquidity to the downside around the 24K range. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I mean, I'm not really sure what's going to happen, but this is just the way I think uh, they're likely going to play it, right? But right now, on a short-term time frame for Bitcoin, um, we are... Uh, let me check the four-hour... Yeah, we're very like extended to the downside. Um, the stochastic's basically crossing and starting to turn up. This um, divergence indicator is sold way down to the low. Uh, last time we came down this far on the uh, divergence indicator was at, at the past local bottom. So I would I would anticipate a move up, maybe at least to this level. Maybe you're going to come up to around 27 something, take out those uh, 100x shorters and then make its final move to the downside. Ideally, I would like to see it just go go back to the upside because, you know, most traders are looking at that 24K region, you know, 24,000, 24,700. Most traders are looking at this. So I think it would be uh, funny and catch a lot of people off guard if it just shot back up from here. But I have to be realistic. And when I invert the chart on a higher time frame, we did break out of this rising wedge and uh, it, it does look pretty bearish on the higher time frame, but it does look like we're due for a pullback on the shorter time frame back up to maybe around this 27,002 level or so this this would be the first level of major resistance that i would anticipate that we're going to see anyway uh hopefully that helped again if you're not subscribed here, i'll switch it back to ripple and just kind of recap what i what i discussed on xrp because yeah this isn't supposed to be a bitcoin video anyway these are the levels that i recommend that you draw if you want to trade xrp um as you can see just based on this price action they have uh they have held. I mean, it, it came all the way down to my lower level here, but it, it wicked off of it like to a T, right? So these levels do hold significance. Now watch for this candle to close tomorrow evening, at least above this upsloping level of support, which would be around, I mean, right now would be fine, uh, around 51 cents. And ideally we want a candle body close uh, above 50, 
around 54 cents to salvage this level. And the reason why that's important is because if the candle closes, for example, above this upsloping level of support, but below this, it just means we're going to have to contend with this uh, horizontal line as resistance on the way back up. But overall, XRP looks better than Bitcoin. XRP looks actually quite good. Um, this pullback was predictable. We, we just broke a multi-year level of resistance, and this is just the retest of it. So don't stress, don't stress out too much, guys, if you're holding this, this asset. Anyway, hopefully that helps. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm going to put a link to the exchange that I personally use in both the pinned comment and the description. I really like it. Really nice interface. It has a lot of uh, very useful features that make trading a little bit easier. And uh, the best thing about it, in my opinion, is they don't require KYC, so you don't have to submit any personal documentation to them. Now, you may need a VPN to access it, so I'll also put a link to a promotion on a VPN in the pinned comment and description as well. Anyway, hopefully you found that helpful. Uh, take care. Have a good day. Bye.